first question was the physical, moral and spiritual states of man. So, I mean, how did the Promised Messiah Islam, explain this in light of Islam? Yes, you're quite right that there were five questions that this um, magnanimous lecture was based around. Um, and the first one was uh, in relation to the three states of man, which is the physical, the moral and the spiritual state of man. Hazm uh, Sima uh, has mentioned right from the, the outset of this, in addressing this particular question, he says that the, the three states of man, the Holy Quran has uh, designated three uh, corresponding sources from where these particular states emanate from. So if we look at the first state, which is the, the natural state of man, or the physical state of man, which is referred to as nafs amara which is the self that incites to evil. And the Holy Quran refers to this is, uh, as inna nafsa la ammaratun bisu that the soul is surely prone to enjoying evil. And the Promised Messiah alayhi salatu wasalam, says, and I quote, this means that it is characteristic of the human self that it incites man to evil and is opposed to his attainment of perfection and to his moral state and urges him towards undesirable and evil ways. Thus the propensity towards evil and intemperance is a human state which predominates over the mind of a person before he enters upon the moral state. And as Muslim Muslim further says that this is man's natural state, so long as he is not guided by reason and understanding, but follows his natural bent in eating, drinking, sleeping, walking, anger, and provocation like the animals. So here he's saying that if these, these natural uh, behaviors are not governed by reasoning or by logic, they remain as our natural state. But the moment the, they're governed by logic and reasoning, then they enter the next stage of the, the state of man, which is the moral state. Yeah, Pastor, just picking up from where Shazar's left, I mean, Hazur, of course, briefly describes each of the three stages. So I would like to quote something where Hazur talks about the moral state, which is a, a state above the physical or the, or, or the um, basic state with the nafs amara And it's known as nafs lawama according to the Holy Quran. And Hazur quotes the verse, Wala uqsimu bin nafs lawama that is to say that, and I do call to witness the self the self-accusing soul, which is from Surah, um, Surah Al-Qiyamah. And Zeus says that, that is, I call to witness the reproving self. That is to say, I call to witness that uh, the self that reproves itself for every vice and intemperance. This reproving self is a second source of human state from which the moral state is generated. At this stage, man ceases to resemble the animals. Like from the first stage, this is the second stage where man enters. So this is the moral state? This, from moral state, this is the, the reproaching state. The where, reproaching. where every action that man does, so it does it with understanding and with logic. Hazul further states that as it reproves every vicious movement, it is called the reproving self. Though it reproves itself in respect of vices, yet it is not fully effective in practicing virtue and occasionally it is dominated by natural emotions when it stumbles and falls. It is like a weak child who does not wish to stumble and fall but does so out of weakness and is then remorseful over his infirmity. In short, this is the moral state of human self when it seeks to comprehend within itself higher moral qualities and is disgusted with disobedience but cannot achieve complete success. So from physical, where you don't have, you're basically in the state of like an animal who has no understanding of anything what it does, then it goes, a human, you know, uh, reaches above that stage and en enters the stage where everything is governed by logic and reasoning. Yeah, and subsequently, then the ultimate, the stage, which is the, st the, the third source, <coughs> and that is the <coughs> nafs mutmainna. So we have uh, nafs amara, so which is yeah. So yeah, the said self. you have the, the, the physical state. Yeah. You then have the moral state, which Kudus uh, Sahib has just mentioned, and then the third one, which is the ultimate stage, which is the, the spiritual state of man, right. which is known as nafs mutmainna. And as we were mentioning before, that each of these states has a corresponding source from where it emanates from. Mm -hmm. Now the Holy Quran refers, referring to this particular source of this state, says that ya yatu nafs mutmainna ila rabbi ki radiyatan mardiya. That is, O soul at rest that has found comfort in God, return to thy Lord, thou well pleased with him, and he well pleased with thee. Now join my chosen servants and enter into my garden. And the promised Messiah regarding this particular state, uh, the spiritual state of man states 
that this is the stage when the soul of a person being delivered from all weaknesses is filled with spiritual powers and establishes a relationship with God Almighty, without whose support it cannot exist. As water flowing down from a height on account of its volume and the absence of any obstruction rushes with great force, in the same way the soul at rest flows towards God. And he says that this is indicated by the divine direction to the soul that has found comfort in God to return to its Lord. It undergoes a great transformation in this very life and is bestowed a paradise while still in this verse, in this world. As this verse indicates in its, in its direction to such a soul to return to its Lord, it is nourished by its Lord and its love of God becomes its nurture and it drinks at it this fountain of life and it is thus delivered from death. So these are the three uh, states of man. And as Imsim <coughs> Al-Salaam has also <coughs> shown the th sources from which they spring forth from as well, respectively. So in short, I mean, we have nafs ammara number one, nafs lawama number two, and nafs mutmainna number three, which can also be known as, um, like the promises I mentioned uh, immediately after this, the natural, moral, and spiritual states of man. 